Hey everybody, Chris here. I was just uh, wanting to give a little update on what's going on. I'm assembling uh, my homemade incubator now. All of the parts are here. I just got to get it all put together. I've uh, got a three foot strip of flex watt here. I've already got it hooked up. I uh, got the insulation on. Uh, I've got mi mix and match, mix, mixed up uh, insulation here because uh, the other plastic clip I had broke, so I improvised uh, with this stuff, which will work just as well. Um, I've gotten the open ends taped off with electric tape on that end. Uh, so all I've got to do is to secure it to the PVC frame, which I'm going to have to wait for the wife to get home to help me out with that. Uh, it's a bit messy in here, but I'll show you what I've got planned. So this is going to be the bottom. Let me uh, kind of lay this in kind of show you sort of what I have in mind. Ah, that's funny. Hold on a sec. Alright. So this is how it's going to work. So I've got the PVC frame, which I will uh, tape the flex watt down to. And on top of that will be this uh, egg crate, which some people call light diffuser. But at Home Depot or Lowe's, it's called egg crate. On top of that will be these Three stainless steel pans which will have water in it to help provide humidity and even out the heat. Let's see, there'll be another PVC frame that'll sit on top of that and another light diffuser egg crate. And on top of that is actually going to go my uh, egg tubs which uh, at the moment are going to be six quart egg tubs and I've got these little inch and a half PVC couplings which I am going to uh, glue down either to the tub or to more egg crate which will sit on top and I'll fill water almost up to uh, to the egg crate and to provide more humidity. Uh, and then the eggs will just sit on top here. And this will hold five of these, I believe. I believe I've already done that check. One, two, three. Four. And five. Uh, if I really needed to, if I really needed to, I could sit another, another row, but I'm not expecting that many clutches. So, uh, so if I need a second row, I, there's enough room for a second row. Uh, so, conceivably up to uh, about 10 clutches, but I'm only expecting maybe maybe three clutches. Three, four clutches tops. So, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, uh, I'll update again after uh, I get it all put together and running out.